Welcome, once again, to the Lake Garnett Grand Prix Revival. This is the 10th running of the Lake Garnett Grand Prix Revival here in 2023. I am very proudly back once again, even though I am not in the 1972 Celica. This is a Miata, lent it to me by Matt. Thank you so much, Matt. Um, after I tried to drive Al's Mustang earlier, and that did not go well, Al's Mustang had some uh, alignment issues, and both he and I pulled in after our first laps. It was it was messy, but it's, it's a very amazing car, uh, but so, something's up with it right now. I hope he gets it so sorted out, but we're in a much more, um, let's say, tame and normal car for this second session in the afternoon in Miata. I have no doubt that we'll be able to make it all the way around, following my good buddy Doug in his 2002 and uh, all these other cars in the B1 group, which is a, a, a pre-80? I don't know, earlier cars than, than what this Miata is, but um, I'm proud to be out in this group. This is the group that Dale belonged in uh, if he would have run anyway, and uh, I'm, I'm, I, these are my people. So uh, I'm glad to be here, even if it's uh, you know just in, in a more reliable car. Uh, and you know what? It's not Dale's fault. It wasn't Dale's fault that this stuff got messed up. Dale's a perfectly reliable car. Oh, anyway. Um, it's a gl gloomy, gray, rainy, gross day here at um, Lake Garnett, and it's quite cold. Uh, so I got the heat cranked up all on my feet. Uh, we got the windows down, because them's the rules. Uh, you got to have your windows down here. Um, so, uh, no passing unless we're in a passing zone. Um, slow down to 45 miles an hour before you get to the hay bales. Maybe it's 40 miles an hour. We'll see when we get there. Um, can never remember. And then it's 45 miles an hour over the bridge, or 40 miles an hour, or whatever. And then you can kind of pick it back up again. Um, you know, all your racing flags apply. Uh, yellow means caution. White means that there's a safety vehicle on the track. Um, red flag, they want you to look in your mirrors first and then stop your car entirely on track. Something really bad has happened. Um, um, I don't think they have a blue with a yellow stripe for passing. Maybe they do, uh, but, you know, we know when we need to let somebody pass, we'll let them pass and we'll give them the point by. And then, um, you know, uh, the uh, black flag, you did something real bad. You messed up. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. And then, the, uh, of course, the checkered flag, meaning that you're the winner and you've won. And here we go. 10th Annual Lake Garnett Grand Prix Revival. Following Doug out in the beautiful 2002. Well, looks like we'll actually be behind this Corvette. Oh, I love a Miata. My goodness, do I love a Miata. This one has Bridgestone RE71Rs on it, so we got to get some heat into them. Once we do, candy bar the door. We're going to have all the stick. I love the stick on these tires. Got a little bit of camber up front, feels like. And uh, that's what Matt said. He's got some good camber. And, um, oh, uh, his toe is at zero. It's probably not quite as playful as I'm used to, uh, but it's still going to be a great drive. Boy, NC Miatas are torquey. Right away, let me give a little review of a car. I had an N.A. Miata with a 1.8 even, and this car has got some oomph to it. He goes. I like it. She, I'm not sure how this car identifies, honestly. I didn't ask it or the owner how it identifies. Don't turn on your turn signal when you go around flat iron. The temptation is real. That's got a temp tag on it. I might, uh, I might just be giving him a little notice that I'm probably going to be up his butt. Maybe he knows how to drive a Corvette. Maybe this isn't his first rodeo. I hope so. Uh, but you know what? If it is his first rodeo, that's awesome. Buy a car, bring it to Garnett. That's sick. Buy yourself a sports car. Hi everyone. Hello. We must wave to the spectators. Now, you know who we definitely wave to? We wave to our workers because we love our course workers. 
They are the best. They let us do this kind of stuff. Let's us have a lot of fun. So here comes the no-pass zone coming into the hay bales. Wave at your workers. Uh, this Corvette is right up Doug's butt, so if he remains up Doug's butt, I'm gonna have to give him a little, I'm gonna have to give him a little trouble because, uh, you know, don't don't get up people's butts unless uh, unless you mean it, <laughs> unless you can back it up. And I know something that that vet driver doesn't know, which is Doug can run away from him in the corners. So Doug's got a beautiful, looks like bullet Mustang in front of him, like an old one, though. and then uh, this vet behind him. I've got the vet, and behind me looks to be a 260Z, 240, 260Z. I don't think it's a 280. It's got chrome bumpers on it still, so it's probably a 240 or 260. Datsun. Z. Oh, I'm digging this Miata. I'm just happy to be in a car that is doing car things. Because, uh, man, Al's car did not want to do car things. Like just normal, standard car things. My favorite corner, Mule Shoe. Thank you. Thank you, workers. I absolutely love that corner. It's my favorite. I've heard from some other folks out here that they don't like the mule shoe. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? I guess all my years driving front-wheel drive cars around it might make it different than driving a rear-wheel drive car, but... Uh, thank you. Man, that's third gear coming around that left-hander there. And the car just smoked it. I love it. Rushing through here. <laughs> I like this car. I like it. I can I can see myself owning one of these. There's a new class with the SCCA where you can uh, buy one of these, get yourself a hard top and use it for every discipline, right? So you can have it in uh, autocross, rallycross, time trials, and uh, boy, what a great car. What a fantastic car. Already, it feels so good. I can heel tow it real easy. T time to get up a vet's butt, shall we? Come on now. Get her moving, baby. I missed the third gear shift. Fifth is real close to that. Well, unless this speedo is wrong, I'm not even going 80. Yeah, I don't need fifth. We're going to stick with fourth. We're having about 3,500 and fourth. Supposed to go 40 through the hay bales. I got a lot of room behind me, so I might back up a little bit and let that see. Basically, I want room between me and this vet, so. I'm gonna let him go. There's a lot of traffic up ahead. Doug stuck in the middle of it. I want mule shoe. That's why I'm here. Everybody else can have every other corner. But for me, I'm here for this corner. And this corner alone. This is it. Good brakes on this car. Fantastic. Really good. Oh, that's bumpy there. Yeah, baby. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah! Get some! Oh man, this little Miata is sick. 
This is a lot of fun, this car. If I bought one of these, I probably never would have bought the GR86. Are you gonna point? Or what? He's not gonna point. That's just fine. I don't care. I'm having a great time. I get to drive today. And that's all I care about. Let me cut this car a little tight. Maybe swing this rear end a little bit. Yeah, baby! Oh yeah, she wags it. That vet's getting it now. Now he's cooking. Now he's cooking. Nice, nice, all right. Now we're having fun. We're doing it. Doug's up there won that point by and not getting it. Not, absolutely not getting it. filling up a Cobra's mirrors and that Cobra's having none of it. We're going too fast in this area. We gotta slow down. Once again, the Z's way back, so I can just hang back. I can hang back and not be up the vet's butt. This is about the drive. It's not about racing people. We're not racing. We are enjoying the drive. That's how you do it right there. That's how it's done. Let the Cobra up and run away. We'll let Doug go after him. Downshift into third. Let the vet and the Cobra, everybody get up there. And then we'll come in real hot. Over there. Yeah. Oh my God, it's getting real bumpy in there right now. Yes! I love that corner. I love it. So good. This Miata is so good. I want one. <laughs> I think I might have to sign up for that class. I didn't know they were this good. I always looked at them like they were too big, too puffy, this NC Miata, but Jesus, man. This thing's great. The torque is so good. It hauls. It really hauls. Back off of him. I want to try to find the line around flat iron corner. I'm gonna find the line. I like Doug's line. Doug keeps it tidy. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get it. I did not get it. I gotta wait till later. That was way too early on the apex. I gotta back it off a little. on through here. It's supposed to be 40 mile an hour max. I'm about 45. We're just going to run these hay bales at a 45. you again. Let's get right up a vet's butt, shall we? Oh my god, yes. Miata power! Look at it! Yeah! Hey, Betty! How you doing? 
yellow little guy. He smells hot. He's on a lot of brake. Speak softly and carry speed. Oh, look at him run away. <laughs> He's gone now. I'm going 60. Because it's fun to do. <laughs> I mugged for the camera. I hope I got it. You don't really want to be on the right side coming over that bridge, honestly. Like, it's too bumpy. Wait, wait. I get to the 90 degree left hander if I can't catch them. They should have, they got a good number of runs under them now. It's sprinkling a little bit, so they might slow down a little bit for that. But I don't think it's enough to worry about myself, but I can't, I can't step on it yet. I know I can't. I can do it now, maybe. Maybe. They don't dictate where you do it. Man, it's really bumpy in there right now. That's the worst it's ever been. Hey, look! I caught a vet. I told you I would. <laughs> He's got a bad line through there. Bad line, my friend. But hell, man, he's having fun. He's having fun. I wonder how hard it is to shuffle a big car around here. I'd like to try it sometime. Big cars, they got a different kind of fun to them. Big weight, big power. It's something else. It's something else entirely. I've driven small cars, small power my whole life. Big car, big power can be fun, but I prefer the lightness. some blinding speed coming down this back straight if you were in an exhibition class or whatever, and that'd be pretty cool. But, man, the corners are so good. I mean, except for Mule Shoot right now. Mule Shoot is not great. Oh, I'm going too fast again. I don't want anybody clock me at like 60 through the hay bales. That was fourth year coming around that one. It's nice. I might just keep it in fourth here. All the torque. Very good torque. Fantastic. 
Plastic Tour. I'm ripping it up to 80. Right now. Coming through at 80. Hit the dip. Yeah, you just gotta take it a little easier through that dip. Here I come again. This is where I live. Yeah! Right on, Miata! Hell yeah! Woo! That's the way. Let's go! Use that V8! Where's the muscle? <laughs> if it wasn't so much fun doing that left-hander, oh, the checker. All right, well, we got the checkered. We're supposed to slow down, but, you know, we can still do some spirited cornering if we like. We got some folks slowing down up ahead of us. So it looks like Doug took the bullet Mustang, too. That's nice. I hope he had a good drive, though. I don't really care about who he passed. That's not what it's about. I hope he had a good drive. I mean, I, everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. And I am still so happy to be here. Every year. As long as I have my health, I will not miss the Lake Garnett Grand Prix Revival. Second weekend in October. Every year. Thank you so much! Next year, Dale. And we will not scrape his exhaust off on the trailer when we take him off. Look at this place. Since the 60s. And we get to do it now. We get to do it like they did in the 60s. Unbelievable. Such a fantastic thing. And they're collecting a fund. Right now I have heard they are collecting a fund to redo the surface of the track. So, this bump down here in Muleshoe, they gave me so much trouble. They, you know, they might fix that up. There's the sound. You hear it? My favorite sound in the world. One of them, anyway. One of my favorites. Oh, man. This Miata. Dude, Matt, this car. So good. I mean, this is inspiring, this car. I am very, very happy to have driven this car today because I know I could buy one of these for a lot cheaper than my GR86, than what I would get out of it. And I could do a lot of really good racing in this car. And I could have a lot of fun. A whole lot of fun in this car. So much fun. Thanks again to Matt, Al Hermans, everybody who helped me, uh, you know, along the way. That guy right there. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Miles helped me so much. All the boys helped out so much with Dale this weekend. Um, Karen for coming down, being a trooper, hanging out with Sammy the dog in the in the uh, blanket all weekend, trying to stay warm, and uh, you know everybody who stopped by. Oh, uh, Sean Grove for giving me that kick ass uh, plate. Thank you, sir. Give me that kick ass Lake Garnett plate, and um, you know, I mean, just everybody, everybody that I always see down here, and the new faces that I've seen, just. Man, Dana, you know, good times, good information yesterday about the autocross, Dave and the Supra. I mean, there's so many people whose names, you know, you just, you, I, I only see them when I come down here, you know, like, and so I have to remember them all year and then it comes back around again. So, but man, what a great time. What a, what a great time. And my, my favorite automotive event of the year, rain or shine, uh, break or, or run, whatever, whatever the circumstances may be. It's fantastic. 